Hi guys, welcome to the next video of the Stustu tutorial series. In this video, we will check how we can create a custom validator. Sometimes we need a validator with some specific requirement which may not be there in the existing bundle validators which come with the Stustu. Now suppose we have a requirement for the user ID that contains only the letters or characters and where all the characters in the user ID field should be in the uppercase. Now for this scenario, we don't have the built-in validator. So we will create one validator for this requirement and use it for our user ID field. We will name it as uppercase validator. For creating our own validator, we need to implement the validator interface. The validator interface has so many methods other than the validate method which the trust2 will call for doing the validation of our action field. They have provided one convenient class which we can extend instead of implementing the raw interface validator and all of its methods. So if you want to create the field validator then we need to extend it from the field validator support class and we have to override the validate method of this class and put the validation logic in the validate method of this class. Let's create one class called uppercase in a validators package. Let's extend from the field validator support class. Now this is the function or method where we need to put our validation logic. The framework we will pass one object to this validate method and this object will contain all the information of which which field we need to validate and all. So using this object we can get the fields value. Now inside this validate method we can get the field name by calling the get field name method and we can get the field value by calling the get field value and these two methods are inherited from the field validator support class. So let's get those field name and field value. It requires two parameters, the field name and this object which is passed to this variate method. We need to type cast it to a string. Now we have got the value which is being passed uh, for that field. Now we have to check whether the value or the string coming in is in uppercase or not. So we will write one function for this called is uppercase which will return true if the string passed to it is in uppercase and false if it is not. For this the logic I am using is just calling the uh, two uppercase on the string being passed so it will create another string object with the letters uppercase and return a reference to that object which I am capturing here in this new variable and then comparing that change string with the actual value coming in. If both of them are equal then that means the value is in uppercase characters and hence I am returning true. 
otherwise the value being passed will be in lower case characters and hence returning false Okay, now the next thing which I am doing in this validate method is checking if the value coming in is in uppercase or not. If not, then I am adding an error to the same field user id and this we can do by calling the add field error method which requires the field name to be passed to it along with the object that is passed to this validate method. So now our validate method is ready here next thing which we need to do is we need to register this validator our validator class so that struts can reference it or we can reference it now the existing bundle validators are registered in the default.xml file which is in the validators package let's check that it is in xwork validators default.xml so here you can see all the existing validators being registered so they have been given a name and fully qualified class name but to register our custom validators we need to put it in the validators.xml file and that should be in our class path the best practice is to provide this xml file in the same folder or a package where the struts.xml file is so let's create one xml file validators.xml click finish ok now the DTD for this XML we can find it in the xwork validator config.dtd in the xwork jar the same jar file xwork validator config so just copy this doc type paste it here here we'll have the validators root node now inside this we would have many val validator elements now we can register each of our custom validator by providing a name and its fully qualified class name in this validator element so we have something called validator name let's give it uppercase and class ok now our validator is registered and struts2 knows about it we need to add it in the user hyphen validation.xml file add one more validator here So we uppercase all the characters should be in uppercase. Okay, so our custom validator is ready. Now let's test it. Okay, now let's test it by using some lowercase characters here. 
and click on login okay so we are getting the error from our uppercase validator that all the characters should be in uppercase so our uh, uppercase variator or custom variator is working fine so this is the way we write our own custom variator now let's review the steps involved once again now first we need to create one variator class and extend it from the field variator support class then override its variate method there we have to put the logic to validate the field and we can get the field name by calling the field name method and its value by calling the field value method and if there is some error we can just call the add field error by passing the field name to it now after this we need to register this class in the variators.xml file in the class path now generally this should be kept along with the struts.xml file and here in this variators.xml file we need to add our validator give it a name and, and fully qualified class name the default bundle validators are registered in the default.xml file which is there in the xwork validator package once the registration is done we can just reference it by its name in our validation.xml file wherever we need it now what happens when the validation interceptor sees a validator type which is not built in then it will try to search for this validator in the validators.xml file and it will instantiate its class and then it will call its validate method by passing the field in an object to it so this is the way we write our own custom validators and this is it for this video we will see some more stuff of input validation in the next video thanks for watching